What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, cast through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're 13,150 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Pro 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo, only if you feel guided to donate. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you feel guided to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do, I do, I do, do. Um, I feel, I feel guided to do a reading, so I'm going to do it. I went to go get my kids, but they said they didn't want to come with me. They're upset because the cat's lost, so, um, it is what it is, so I'm back, but I feel guided to do a reading. I haven't got any channels yet, but if I do, I will share them with you, um, but we're going to do it. I might do some bonus readings tonight, possibly. We'll see. Okay. So, let's see. I think I feel guided to do a love reading for some reason. Yeah. And I'll get y'all a song, but I'm going to wait until this uploads. Okay. Mm, let's see. Okay, let's get an animal spirit. We'll just do whatever comes out of the new channel. We'll do it that way. Spirit messages can have this with Dragonfly. Spirit message you have to like this. Oyster. Spare message is here before too. All tied up. I heard keep it. We have contract. Okay. Number 23 or 6 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 23 or 6. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 23 or 6. Dragonfly upright. Oyster upright. For some, you could be an air sign or a water sign or dealing with the air sign or water sign. If you are, they could have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mini, or Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. Someone is about to get the courage to tell their partner they want they want a divorce. Whoa, Lee 
smokes. You plug it in, how it resonates. Someone's about to get the courage to tell uh, their partner they want a divorce. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Dragonfly spirit, um, loud and proud spirit, um, speaking out. Dragonflies are loud and proud, and they, um, they, uh, th th you know, they show themselves. They're not timid or scared or, um, or shy. They speak up. They speak up. And whoever you are, um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, somebody's about to speak up and say they want a divorce. Uh, for some, it could be you. For some, it could be somebody you're connected to. But um, you're about to, t you or somebody you're connected to is about to take on the dragonfly spirit and about to be loud and proud with it. Uh, about to speak up and say you want a divorce, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. For some, you could be air signs or water signs. How about that resonates? Or any other sign. Oyster. This is like diamond in the rough energy is what I feel. The oyster. It's like the diamond in the rough because you know um, pearls. Pearls and the oysters. I think that's where pearls come from. Oyster shells, right? I think. Hold on. Hold on. I could be wrong. Let me ask. Yeah, oysters. Yeah. Uh, pearls come from oysters. So I feel this is like diamond in the rough energy. Um, I feel you're like a diamond in the rough. Or maybe for some, I mean, now that I hear the channel message, it really makes sense. You're about to speak up with your dragonfly spirit and about to um, tell your spouse you want a divorce obviously you're miserable whoever this is for obviously um you're all tied up in a contract you're all that tied up in a uh, marriage contract here but you are miserable whoever you are you're freaking a miserable i mean it's clear as day in here um this is the eight of swords this could indicate jail or uh, prison or mental imprisonment in this case it's mental imprisonment because you're miserable um in the marriage contract and you're about to take on the dragonfly spirit to tell your partner you want a divorce. I feel you, I, whoever this is for, I feel you might be interested in somebody. And I think it's this oyster energy. It could be a water sign or anybody else taking on this oyster energy. But um, it's a like a diamond in the rough energy. And I think you know this. That's exactly what I think. You're, whoever you are, you're highly intuitive. I'll tell you that. Definitely have your eye on somebody for sure. And you have for a while. Definitely have your eye on somebody for sure. And you have for a while. So whoever you are, you definitely have your eye on somebody and you have for a while. I think it's this oyster energy. Um, it could be a water sign or anybody taking on a water sign energy. But they are, um, they're coming off as the oyster energy. I think they're the plural in the oyster is what I think. I think they're the point per, pearl in the oyster. You know this. I heard you've had your eye on them for a while. Whoever you are, person. You can be masculine or feminine. Um, but I think your person you have an eye on, you've had an eye on for a while, is the pearl inside this oyster. That's exactly what the hell I think. And I, I think you know they're a pearl. I hope you treat them like they're a pearl. I'm just saying, just saying. I mean, I'm not talking about over accentuating their ego, but anybody that's pearl deserves to be treated like a pearl. Just for real, for real. This person is definitely a diamond in the rough, and you know this on many levels. 
this person is definitely a diamond in the rough um, on many levels, and you know this. So diamond in the rough, um, pearl in the oyster, they're basically a hidden gem energy. They're a hidden gem energy, basically, is what they are. They're a hidden gem energy. Hidden gem, diamond in the rough, pearl in the oyster, whatever you want to call them. They are a hidden gem energy, but you know they are. Whoever you are, you know they are, and you know them. Whoever you are, you know them. You know them, you know them. Um, I think it's a person of your past or a person of your present, but you definitely know them, for sure, for sure, or know of them, whoever they are. Your oyster energy, my dear. For one, you're going to send th this person a gift soon. For some, many gifts. For one, you're going to send this person a gift soon. For one, many gifts. Wow. So for some of you guys, you're about to send this person one gift. For some, you're about to send them many gifts. So um, your oyster energy. But whoever you are, you're still married. I'll tell you that. You're still married. But um, I guess this did turn out to be a love reading. Kind of. Um, but it's, um, but you're about to ask for a divorce. You're about to get out of it. You're about to get out of it. I don't know. I didn't hear if you had a prenuptial agreement or not. I don't know about any of that. But um, you're about to get out, get out of the divorce um, or ask to get out or, or however you do this. I, I don't know um, how that resonates. Okay. But, um, but you have your eye on somebody. Uh, for some, you're about to send them one gift. For some, two or two plus gifts. Heard many gifts, so how that resonates. Um, wow, man. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. There was a lot of sexual attraction here at first, and there still is, but there is respect here now, which is what needed to occur. Okay, I'm going to shuffle and get one more card. So I heard there was a lot of sexual energy here at first, but um, now there's respect here, and that needed to occur. So if that res resonates for you, you had a lot of sexual energy towards this person at first. So you find them very sexually attractive. You, fi you find your oyster energy very attractive. And... Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I hope um, you find your oyster energy attractive. <laughs> I hope you do. Um, how's a relationship going to last if you're not um, sexually attracted to the other person? Um, unless it's an arranged marriage. But by the way, we're in 2022. That shouldn't should be that shit shouldn't be happening these days. Just saying, just saying. Um, I don't feel it is. I just feel you were just very sexually attracted to them. But um, it was like sex wand energy. But now it is. Um, progressed into respect too so and i heard the respect needed to occur so well that's good that's good so now you respect them and you're sexually attracted to them well it sounds like it's progressing um and it sounds like whoever you're married to here it sounds like it's dead as a doornail there i mean i felt a lot of air there i didn't feel any heart spirit messages you have reflected but only you know your story not anybody else All tied up reversed. Indecision upright. Eight or twenty-three. Eight or You know this person is a free bird. But 
but very loyal. And you were right. Okay, I heard you know this person is a free bird, but they're very loyal, and you're right. So how this resonates? So you know your oyster energy is a free bird, but they are very loyal. So whoever this oyster, I hope you don't take advantage of them. Just saying. I hope you don't take advantage. Um, that's never a good thing. Just saying, just saying. So your oyster energy is a free bird, but so they're free bird, meaning they like to do what they like to do. They like expressing themselves however they want to express themselves. Hopefully not in a weird, untactful way. I don't feel for whoever this is. They don't express themselves in a weird, untactful way. They just like expressing themselves and being who they are and um, doing what they like to do, just like anybody does. Um, I mean, that's normal. That's normal. As long as you don't do it in a erratic, irrational, impulsive kind of way. Um, I don't feel this person does. It just, I feel they like to, maybe they dress a little different than, differently than people or they have a little different viewpoints than other people or they, um, or something of that nature. Maybe they like things different than other people and it triggers them or what have you, what have you. But um, they are definitely different from the norm. But whoever you are, I think you like this. I think you like this about them. That's exactly what I do. I think you like this about them or you know this about them. So you'd have to accept it anyways. Um, they're definitely, they don't try to fit in to the norm. Definitely not. Whoever your person is here, your oyster. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I heard that um, they're a free bird, and um, they're a free bird. So they like to do what they like to do. Um, but you know this. You know this. But they're loyal. So like I said, hopefully, um, if you communicate with them and tell them your feelings or what have you, what have you, you don't try to take advantage or try to uh, control them. Because whoever this person is, I'll tell you right now, they don't like being controlled. I heard free bird. They don't like being controlled. So... Um, if you're looking for a relationship with them, which I feel you obviously are, whoever this is for, but you're still married, um, just know they don't like being controlled. I think they would probably buck you, um, like a damn stallion if, um, you try to control them or dominate them or something crazy. And I'm just being for real. Indecision, I think you're still making up your mind as far as communicating with them and telling them your feelings. Um, that's exactly what I feel, uh, contract reverse, um, I, th I think this is a free bird energy, I think you know they don't want to be tied down, locked down, controlled, domineered, um, they, some of them, they probably don't want to be married again, and I'm just being for real, I feel their single is a Pringle, and I'm serious. Any shocking series of chain events are about to occur with several of these situations soon. Many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with several of these situations soon. So, it sounds like y'all about to get a move on this. Um, I don't feel this is sneaky link energy. I just want to say, I don't feel this is sneaky link. I feel this is somebody's in a marriage and they're about to get out. And you haven't told your oyster energy how you feel. It's not a sneaky link, whoever this is. It is somebody that you know that you want to be in a relation, I think a relationship with after this marriage. Like a healthy, copacetic, public relationship. But you don't want to tie them down. They don't want to be tied down. I don't think it's some secret sex, sugar mama, sugar daddy shit. I don't think it's sneaky link situationship, what have you. I think it's just somebody that does not want to be married because they probably had such a rough marriage in the past and you know this and you're trying to figure out how to go about this is what I'm feeling. But you're still married if this resonates for you. That's exactly what I feel. But only you know your story, not anybody else. I might do sign readings tonight. I'm here by myself. Just saying. 
Um, I heard many shocking series of chain of events uh, are going to happen with several of these situations soon. So there's several of these in the universe. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Uh, whether you're going to be the initiator married, because whoever I'm picking up here, you're the married one, I'm feeling. I feel, well, I feel you could be the married one or you could be the singles or pringle one and then you get the communication from the married person. Yeah, I feel like it could go both ways. You could be the married person or you could be the singles or pringle one about to get communication from your, um, your, your married person. Um, free bird over here, if this resonates for you. Yeah, I'm hearing that song "Free Bird" now. Let's let's just get a song, and then I'll close it. Let's see. Tired of winning, nothing more? Tired of winning? Well, damn. Okay, so tired of winning by nothing more. Which I don't know that song. I'll have to listen to it here in a minute. But, um, tired of winning? So, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates? Tired of winning? I don't know. Maybe... I think maybe one of you, uh, one of you guys has somebody depressing in your energy field. I don't think it's your oyster energy. I don't think it's you. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's somebody else. Some kind of, you plug the song in however it resonates for you. But I feel with the song, Tired of Winning, maybe you've got somebody depressive around you. Like a negative Ned or a negative... Nita or something of that nature, like a negative depressive energy um, around you. I don't feel it's your oyster energy and I don't feel it's you, if that resonates for you. All right. I love you guys. Hope this helped. Namaste.